Greetings everyone and welcome to another Gaming Brothers video. My name's Justin and I'll be taking you through some steps to um, basically kind of make a Pez dispensing minecart system more useful in an SMP environment. So right now I'm on the SMP server. If you guys watch any of my other videos you will know that this is the server that a bunch of friends of mine and I play on on a pretty regular basis and um, just kinda taking some time to show you guys another minecart setup. Um, the previous video we did was of, you know, a um, completely full-on SMP compatible uh, server. Um, SMP server compatible minecart track, I'm sorry. And, um, and that works really well. However, um, that does take up a lot of space and um, fully aware of that. So, um, I know for some of you guys that's not necessarily an option or you guys you know don't really want to deal with all of that space requirement so I decided to um, kind of do another video of our other um, minecart dispensing systems as you can see down here we use our, some of our minecart stations especially the ones that aren't very uh, well they're used a lot but they're not very um, they're in a they're in a situation where the space is very limited. So basically, what we have here is just a standard um, Pez dispensing style with using the trap door and a big shaft full of minecarts. This one has a capacity of I think 30 or 40, and the reason why we did that is because essentially on this sir um, on the specific style of dispenser, if you guys are aware, there's not really a good way to dispose of carts once the dispenser is full, unless you're using some type of ridiculously complicated, you know, counting system or something like that. So we decided to just go with a basic dispenser and just load it up with about 10 carts and, you know, if it gets full we'll just kind of deal with that when it comes along, so to speak. Um, so basically what we have here though, as I want to show you, is how I've kind of made this compatible with an SMP server. Now. The way our track system is set up is we just have one big continuous loop, essentially. So we don't have destinations, we just kind of go around in a loop, mostly because all of the villages and towns and everything that we have are along one gigantic rail system. And so to get to one town you just kind of ride around the rail system, you know, until you get to where you want to go. Which means you stop in the stations, like this one, around the map. So, obviously this is just a basic station. If there's no cart here, you just press the button and a cart comes up. Or, um, if there's a cart here, obviously you just get in and press the button and ride off. However, as you can see, this is the actual coming in track. So, what we had to do was design a system that allows us to remove this cart from the station, um, put that cart back in the dispenser so we're not wasting carts, and then allow this cart to come in, and then allow this cart to take off. The neat thing about that, of course, is that as you come in, and these powered rails are here just to make sure that I can test this properly. Normally there aren't powered rails here because you'd be going far too fast to stop in this station. So basically as you come in here, this um, cart sensing track pushes this mine, turns this station on and causes, if there's a mine cart here, it causes the mine cart to fly off and come down here and then go into the chamber in here. The great thing about that is, of course, that it gets the minecarts out of the station in order for someone to stop here. Um, the only glitch to this is, and it's not really that big of a deal, but say you're coming through here, and as you come around this corner you see that there's not a minecart here, and you come into the station, you kind of have to get out of your minecart, hit the button, this one will go down and take care of um, resetting the system, and then a new one will come up. Not that big of a deal, especially if everyone is aware of that. Um, certainly a lot better than most of the systems I've seen, as far as, um, as, well, I wouldn't say better than most systems, I would just say better than a lot of the other like Pez dispensing systems or whatever, but I guess there's not that many people maybe that use um, this complicated of a rail system, I'm not sure. In any case, um, so what we have here is basically this minecart, if there's somebody coming in to the minecart, 
lights up the station, or the station is lit up, and then the minecart is propelled down this track. Um, and this, of course, will be switched this way. And the minecart is dumped down there. It goes over this cart sensing track here. There's a very large system of redstone in this box here that basically is an RS nor latch, and it is turned on, the cart is dispensed, and then it flips back. So let me show you this real quick, just give you an example of uh, kind of how this works. Uh, let me make sure I'm flying so I can actually show you guys this. So we have, say we have our cart here, and we're coming into the station, so that cart is pushed out, jutted along there, and put down there, and then our cart switches back, which then of course allows us, as a station person, or a person maybe needing to go to a destination, to click the button, we zoom off on our merry way, no harm done. So there you have that. Um, you know, thanks. Uh, this has just been a little video for you. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, maybe we'll see you guys again next time. If you guys want me to go through a um, a video on how we kind of constructed this whole thing, I'd be more than happy to do that. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you know, send me a like. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Um, <laughs> just kind of doing this for uh, you know everyone's benefit. Uh, if it helped you, you know, let me know. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys.